winter approaching, we're getting into colder weather, and I recently picked up Galco Miami Classic shoulder rig for my Model 69. And I've had a few weeks now to wear it and break it in, and I figured I would do a review of what I like, what I don't like, and what I would change. Now before I get started, if you're looking for any Second Amendment apparel, such as this pretty cool sweatshirt, which is nice for as it gets colder, uh, there's a link in the description that will take you to a website called Forge for Freedom, who is a Second Amendment apparel company, and make lots of cool stuff, and plus it supports the channel. So, let's get on with the review. Alright, so first I'll do a general overview of the holster. Now, in the past I have reviewed Galco shoulder rigs. I've done both the Miami Classic for the 1911 and the Jackass rig for the 1911, which this is the Miami Classic, but this is for um, Revolver. This is, this is for the Smith & Wesson L-frame, but it, it matches several different other revolvers, and you can go on their website and see all the different guns this particular model matches. I believe this is a ME, MC-104 is the model number for this shoulder rig. But I did make some modifications to it. I changed out one of the parts, but I will get into that a little bit later. Now, starting out with the holster, uh, the holster is a very good quality. It's a very nice fit and real nice leather. Stitching is very nice. Took a little bit of break-in period, as you would expect with any leather leather holster. But holster is real nice. Straps are real nice. They're very comfortable, very well constructed. It has the that typical back plate you're used to that centers in your back and helps support the weight of the gun and the ammunition. So what I'll do is I'm going to take it off now and I will give a, a more in-depth close-up of the holster itself. Let's get a close-up of the holster. So this is the holster part. Now the nice thing about this is groove up here is nice and big. So depending upon what sight you've put on the gun, there's still plenty of room. Mine, because it's a two and three quarter inch barrel, extends out the back of the holster, which it's designed to do, so no problem there. It's a nice, snug, and tight fit. Uh, there was a little bit of a break-in period, which there's plenty of ways you can break in a holster. If you're interested, just Google it. It'll tell you all you need to know. But there is a snap on the bottom of the holster for if you wanted to do a belt strap, or a belt loop. A belt strap, yeah. A belt strap on your belt loop. But I don't have that because I've found that the weight of the gun is more than enough to hold it in place. The thumb brake is really nice. This is something that I noticed that I was really pleased to see is you'll notice on the thumb brake, and actually I'll pull the gun out to show this, but where the snap is for it, there's this little plastic ring around it so that as you unsnap it and pull the gun out, this doesn't hang up on your gun and doesn't scratch your gun. Now, obviously, some people could care less if their carry gun gets scratched, but especially me, you know, buying my own stuff, I try and keep it a little nice as much as possible. But that's nice. So that's a look at the holster. The straps are typical Galco straps with a little plastic centerpiece. Nothing wrong with the straps, fully adjustable, really nice quality. So this part, now this part is my one of my complaints about the holster. And what I'll do is I'll go over this and talk about why I don't like this particular part of the holster. So one of my few Next. complaints about the holster is this. Now, this is what the holster ships with. This is a speed strip slash dump pouch. You can put loose rounds in it, or you could put speed strips in here, two of them, and have them as reloads for your revolver of choice. What I don't like is, while, I, while most people for smaller guns might carry a speed strip, this is for an L-frame. An L-frame is a pretty decent sized revolver, and plus, speed, speed strips are not nearly as fast as a speed loader, and when you're carrying a shoulder rig system like this, especially when you're going to carry two reloads, I wouldn't see why you wouldn't want speed loaders. They're faster, uh, they're easier to load, they don't require nearly as much dexterity than having to, you know, press in two rounds at a time, so on and so forth. 
but Galco doesn't even give you the option to switch out because I called them and I asked them about that about instead of sending me this because I said to them basically I'm going to toss this in a drawer and never use it because I don't like speed strips for larger revolvers they said that the only way I could get that was if I bought the shoulder rig as uh, as I wear it but with this and then went and bought this now luckily I got this at a local gun show so I, I saved uh, quite a ton quite a lot of money getting this and this is actually an older one from back when they were jackass but uh, that's one of my definite dislikes about the holster is the fact that it doesn't give you the option to have it come with the speed loader pouch and you only have the option to get the speed strip pouch but some people might prefer speed strips for even larger revolvers I don't, that's just my personal preference, um, but that's definitely something that I'm not fond of for the holster. Now as far as comfort for the holster, the holster is very comfortable. The uh, gun itself rides quite nicely under your arm, you can see here. I've got it slightly canted forward a little bit. Now they do offer a jackass rig which gets a severe cant down like that, which is great, but they don't offer it in revolvers, so I had to go with the Miami Classic, which still very comfortable, beats my needs nicely. It's a nice draw. Once you've broken in the holster, it's a nice natural draw. You do see some people that they do like the, the chicken wing and whatnot on some holsters to get it to draw. I don't have to do that. Once I broke the holster in, it's a nice smooth draw. Access to your spare ammunition. Like I said, I've got the speed loaders real nice because you can pull the speed loader out from either end that's the nice thing is it's ambidextrous if I were to have this on my other side there is snaps on both sides to open it to get access to the speed loader which is great it it rests real comfortable on your shoulders uh, that's one of the nice things I've always said about Galco is when they do really nice jobs with shoulder rigs uh, let's talk about concealability. I am wearing it with just a sweatshirt, and as you can see, it doesn't really print that bad. I mean, you're carrying an L frame, and unless I kind of like do this, then maybe you can kind of see it, but nobody's looking that closely at you, so nobody's going to notice. I mean, if I pull it super tight, you know, obviously you're going to see the outline of the gun, but with just putting a sweatshirt over top of it, it conceals great you know it's it's tucked they're tucked underneath of your arms so the one thing I did notice which this isn't the this is the holsters fault but it does kind of the first couple days I wore it it was weird having the bulge of the cylinder underneath my arm I am used to carrying shoulder rigs but usually with semi-automatics so that was kind of it took a sec to get used to having like that big knot right there but the second you wear it for a couple days you would completely ignore it after a while so it conceals really nice like I said this is with a, just a sweatshirt and you can walk around all day nobody would know you have it and the draw now this is obviously with it being a non a sweatshirt that's a pullover you're gonna have a little bit slower draw but you know like that that that's still in my book acceptable you know you see the tactical trainers that so you gotta have that half second draw, but you just saw I drew, and that was in no hurry at all. I thought that was a pretty good draw. So obviously reholstering would be a little more complicated, but I don't know anybody that, that won a gunfight by speed reholstering. But overall, conceals. All right, so well. that was my review for the Galco Miami Classic shoulder rig for the revolver. I have done reviews for the semi-automatic holsters they make, also if you're interested. Overall, I am pleased with the holster. Uh, I would definitely change a couple things. Most importantly, I would ditch this. But other than that, I definitely am happy with it and would highly recommend it if you're looking for a shoulder rig. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them and have a good day.